hello dear students another question about current electricity here we have a again we have to find the uh, effective resistance between p and q terminal so in order to solve this we suppose we can see that 3 r and 6 r both are in parallel combinations so first we solve 3 r parallel with the 6 r 3 r and the 6 r are parallel so 3 r parallel 6 r so 3 r multiply by 6r divided by 3r plus 6r we multiply them and we add them so this is 6 3 18 r multiplied by r divided by 9r so r will be cancelled 9 to 0 so we get 2r so we can simplify this circuit so here point p then we have 4r 4r and then we have simple R then the combination of 3 R and 6 R is 2 R okay now we can if correctly draw so it's 2 R 2 R and then we have then we have another R another R then we have this one okay so Q point okay now we can see that r 2r and r are, are both all are in series because this is end to end connections r uh, r right end is connected with the left to this this end and then right of this end connected to the next uh, and then it is connected to q okay so this is basically uh, r 2r and r all are in series so that effective resistance is between r 2r and r r 2R and R. So effective resistance is R plus 2R plus R. Because they are in series, so if, if they are series, so we just add them. So R, 1R, 2R, 3R, and 3 plus 1, 4R. So 4R. So that the now, finally, 4R is parallel to another 4R. 4R. Now we can simplify 4R and 4R, 4R parallel to 4R. So finally 4R is parallel to 4R. That gives us 4R multiplied 4R divided by 4R plus 4R. So 16R square divided by 8R. So 2R, it will give us 2R. So the effective distance is 2R. Okay, another way to simplify this circuit is so second method we can also check that we have a quick check for basically this p and q we can draw this this is p point this is q point and as, as you can see that the between p and q 4r is in between so we can draw 4r in between and then from 4 left end the r is connected from 4 left end r is connected and from 4R right end, the R is connected, another R is connected. Another R is connected, one minute. Another R is connected. Another R is connected. And from both R in between, so left end R connected to 3R and 6R. From both R, this R, from left end R, so we have another 3R is connected. 3R is connected and 3R is also connected to other uh, this one and 3R is connected to the other R okay and now 3R is connected with the 6R in both side when 3R left side is 6R 6R the so 3R right side is also 6R okay so you can see that this combination this uh, this is this one this portion is parallel combination again first one 6r is parallel to 3r 6r parallel to 3r so in order to solve parallel combination we multiply them and we divide add them we get divided by add them so we get 2r now after that we can see that this uh, three whole three uh, combinations are in series so 
R two R in R R uh, in series. So we have four R. And finally, uh, finally we have, uh, finally we have the uh, this and this R in parallel combination. So we have again four R and four R in parallel. So we get two R. Two R. Okay. Thank you. So our final answer is two R. Thank you.